The natural world is a dynamic battleground where the evolutionary arms race between predators and their prey plays a critical role in shaping the diversity of life. This perpetual struggle for survival drives a series of adaptations and counteradaptations, leading to an intricate dance of evolution. Through the ages, this contest has spurred remarkable changes in behavior, physiology, and even ecosystem structure. The evolutionary arms race, a relentless struggle for survival, began in the primordial waters of the Cambrian period, over 500 million years ago. This era, marked by the Cambrian explosion, saw an unprecedented diversification of life, setting the stage for the complex interplay between predators and prey that would define the dynamics of life on Earth. In these ancient seas, the first predators emerged, equipped with novel adaptations that allowed them to exploit new ecological niches. Among them were creatures like Anomalocarus, considered one of the first true predators. With its large compound eyes, capable of discerning prey in the murky depths, and its flexible, grasping appendages, Anomalocarus introduced a new level of predation that the Precambrian world had not seen. Its appearance forced a rapid response from prey species, which had, until then, lived in a relatively low-risk environment. The prey's response to these emerging threats was varied and innovative. Some organisms developed hard shells and exoskeletons, like trilobites and brachiopods, as physical barriers against predation. Others, like certain species of early echinoderms and mollusks, took to burrowing into the sea floor, adopting a less visible lifestyle to evade detection. This period also saw the evolution of spines and other defensive structures, not merely as physical deterrents, but as early examples of how the presence of predators can drive prey to evolve complex protective mechanisms. This early arms race was not just about survival, it was a catalyst for innovation in the biological realm. The development of these defensive and offensive traits spurred an increase in biodiversity. Predation pressure led to the evolution of more sophisticated behaviors, such as schooling and swarming in prey, which in turn required predators to develop more advanced hunting strategies. This dynamic interplay between hunting and evading, attacking and defending, laid the groundwork for the complex ecosystems that would follow in the Earth's subsequent eras. Moreover, the Cambrian period illustrated the importance of mobility, both for predators and prey. The evolution of more efficient methods of locomotion allowed predators to chase down their prey, while prey species developed their own methods of swift movement to escape. This evolutionary push towards mobility and speed would be a theme that continued throughout the history of life on Earth, influencing the development of life in the oceans, on land, and in the air. The dawn of the arms race in the Cambrian seas was more than just a beginning of predator-prey dynamics, it was a fundamental shift in the history of life. It set the stage for the evolutionary drama that would unfold over millions of years, a drama characterized by a continuous cycle of adaptation and counteradaptation. The legacy of this period is the incredible diversity of life we see today, a testament to the power of evolutionary processes, shaped by the endless battle for survival. As life on Earth progressed beyond the Cambrian period, the evolutionary arms race intensified, spreading across the burgeoning ecosystems of our planet. This escalation was not confined to the oceans, it expanded onto land, into the skies, and beneath the soil, illustrating the universal struggle for survival and supremacy among Earth's diverse life forms. During the Silurian and Devonian periods, the colonization of land by plants and animals marked a new frontier in the arms race. Early terrestrial ecosystems saw the emergence of arthropods, like insects and spiders, which brought new forms of predation. Plants, too, entered this arms race, evolving thorns and chemical toxins as defenses against herbivorous species. This period underscored the adaptability of life, as both predators and prey developed novel strategies to exploit the opportunities and challenges of terrestrial life. The Mesozoic era, often hailed as the age of dinosaurs, showcased an unprecedented escalation in the arms race. Dinosaurs dominated the landscape, evolving a wide array of forms and sizes, from the colossal sauropods to the cunning theropods. Predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex, with its massive jaws and sharp teeth, epitomized the apex predators of their time, while herbivores such as Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus developed armor plates and spiked tails for defense. 
The Mesozoic also witnessed the evolution of flying reptiles and the first birds, adding a new dimension to the arms race as aerial predation and evasion tactics evolved. The end of the Mesozoic brought about a significant shift in the arms race. The Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, which saw the demise of the non-avian dinosaurs, opened ecological niches that mammals quickly filled. This new era saw mammals diversify rapidly, giving rise to new predatory forms, including the saber-toothed cats and early canids in the Cenozoic era. The evolution of social behavior and pack hunting among some predators introduced more complex dynamics into the predator-prey interactions. In parallel, the prey species were not passive participants in this arms race. The development of heightened senses, such as improved vision and hearing, allowed many prey species to better detect and escape predators. Some mammals, for instance, evolved into nocturnal or burrowing lifestyles, minimizing their exposure to predators. Antelopes and deer perfected the art of swift running, while others, like the armadillos and turtles, refined their protective shells. The escalation of the arms race through the eras also saw the rise of intelligence and social cooperation as survival strategies. Primates, particularly humans, developed tools and tactics that revolutionized hunting, while many prey species adopted complex social structures and behaviors to protect themselves and their communities. The continuous evolution of defense mechanisms against predation led to a dynamic and ever-changing tapestry of life on Earth. From the chemical defenses of plants to the mimicry and camouflage seen in both terrestrial and marine animals, the arms race drove the diversification and complexity of life forms. The evolutionary arms race is a dynamic and ongoing process, characterized by a complex interplay of adaptations between predators and their prey. This relentless game of survival has led to a myriad of evolutionary innovations, shaping the natural world in profound ways. At the heart of this adaptation game is the concept of evolutionary pressure. Predators exert selective pressure on prey populations, favoring traits that enhance survivability, such as speed, camouflage, or defensive structures. Conversely, the need to secure food drives predators to develop more effective hunting strategies, sharper senses, and physical adaptations for catching elusive or well-defended prey. One of the most striking examples of adaptation in prey species is the development of camouflage and mimicry. These strategies allow animals to blend into their environment or masquerade as less palatable or dangerous organisms, deceiving predators, and reducing their chances of being eaten. The peppered moth in England demonstrated this vividly during the Industrial Revolution, pollution darkened tree bark, favoring darker moths that blended in, while lighter ones became easy targets for birds. Predators, in response, have honed their senses to detect well-camouflaged prey. The evolution of complex visual systems in birds of prey, which can spot minute movements or color differences, illustrates how predators adapt to overcome the defenses of their prey. Similarly, the development of echolocation in bats represents a sophisticated biological sonar system, enabling them to detect and capture insects in complete darkness. Another facet of the adaptation game is the evolutionary development of speed and agility. Many prey animals, such as gazelles and rabbits, have evolved to run faster or become more agile, making them harder to catch. In response, predators like cheetahs have developed remarkable speeds, and wolves have adapted strategies like endurance running to exhaust their prey. Social behavior and cooperation also play significant roles in this arms race. Many prey species, including fish, birds, and mammals, form groups to protect themselves from predators through increased vigilance and collective defense strategies. Predators have similarly evolved cooperative hunting tactics. Lions, for example, work in groups to outmaneuver and take down large herbivores, a strategy that significantly increases their hunting success rate. The arms race extends to the microscopic world as well. Bacteria and viruses evolve rapidly to overcome the immune defenses of their hosts, leading to an endless cycle of adaptation, as host organisms develop new immune responses to counteract these pathogens. The evolutionary arms race extends beyond physical adaptations to include the realms of intelligence and social behavior, dimensions that have significantly influenced the survival and dominance of various species.
This facet of evolution showcases how cognitive abilities and group dynamics play pivotal roles in the complex interplay between predators and prey. Intelligence, in the context of evolution, refers to the capacity of organisms to learn, remember, and solve problems. This cognitive leap has enabled species to develop innovative strategies for hunting, evading predators, and competing for resources. For example, the problem-solving abilities of crows and ravens, which can use tools and devise complex strategies for accessing food, illustrate the significant survival advantage conferred by high cognitive capabilities. These birds can remember the locations of hidden food caches and even plan for future needs, a level of foresight prayer in the animal kingdom. Social behavior, encompassing the ways in which animals interact with one another, has also evolved as a critical component of the evolutionary arms race. Predatory animals that hunt in packs, such as wolves and lions, exemplify how cooperation can dramatically increase hunting success. These social predators coordinate their movements, communicate silently through body language, and execute complex strategies that would be impossible for solitary hunters. This cooperative hunting not only allows them to take down larger and more formidable prey, but also reinforces social bonds within the group, enhancing their overall fitness. On the other side of the spectrum, prey species have also leveraged social behavior to enhance their survival. The formation of herds, flocks, and schools is a common strategy that reduces the individual risk of predation through the dilution effect and increases the likelihood of detecting predators early. Many prey animals, such as zebras and antelopes, also engage in altruistic behavior, where individuals take turns watching for predators, allowing others to feed or rest with a lower risk of surprise attacks. The evolution of intelligence and social behavior has also led to complex emotional and psychological adaptations. Elephants, known for their sophisticated social structures, exhibit behaviors indicative of deep emotional connections, including mourning their dead and protecting vulnerable group members. Such behaviors suggest that the arms race is not merely a physical or cognitive contest, but also an emotional and psychological one, where the ability to form and maintain social bonds can be as crucial for survival as speed or stealth. Moreover, the development of language and communication among social species has added another layer to the arms race. The intricate vocalizations of dolphins, which serve both to coordinate hunting efforts and to maintain social cohesion, demonstrate how communication can serve multiple functions, enhancing a species' adaptability and resilience. In the contemporary world, the evolutionary arms race continues to unfold, with modern examples providing insight into the ongoing struggle for survival between predators and prey. However, this age-old contest is now complicated by human activities that have profound implications for conservation and biodiversity. One striking example of the modern arms race is found in the interaction between agricultural pests and crops. As humans have developed chemical pesticides to protect crops, many pest species have rapidly evolved resistance, leading to a cycle of escalating chemical warfare. This situation not only demonstrates the speed at which evolutionary adaptations can occur, but also highlights the challenge of managing pest resistance in a sustainable manner. In natural ecosystems, the introduction of invasive species by human activities has sparked new fronts in the evolutionary arms race. Invasive predators, such as the brown tree snake in Guam, have decimated native bird populations, lacking the evolutionary adaptations to recognize and escape from these novel threats. Conversely, native predators exposed to invasive prey sometimes adapt quickly, developing new hunting strategies or dietary preferences to include the invasive species, illustrating the dynamic nature of evolutionary pressures. The impact of climate change on the evolutionary arms race cannot be overstated. Alterations in climate and habitat are shifting the dynamics between predators and prey, forcing rapid adaptations to new conditions. For example, changing sea ice patterns in the Arctic are affecting the hunting strategies of polar bears, pushing them to find new ways to hunt seal prey that are also adapting to the changing ice landscape. Such scenarios underscore the interconnectedness of climate change, habitat alteration, and evolutionary pressures. The conservation implications of these modern examples of the evolutionary arms race are significant. 
They highlight the importance of understanding evolutionary dynamics in managing and preserving biodiversity. Conservation strategies increasingly need to consider how human-induced changes affect the evolutionary arms race, potentially leading to the loss of species unable to adapt quickly enough to new conditions or competitive pressures. Moreover, conservation efforts are focusing on preserving not just individual species, but the ecological interactions that sustain biodiversity, including predator-prey dynamics. Protecting these interactions often means preserving the habitats that support them, ensuring that the evolutionary arms race can continue in a balanced manner. This approach recognizes the value of natural selection and adaptation as key processes that maintain the health and diversity of ecosystems. In addition, there is a growing recognition of the need for conservation strategies that are adaptive and responsive to the rapid pace of environmental change. This means not only protecting existing biodiversity, but also facilitating the natural processes of adaptation and evolution that will allow species to respond to future challenges. Whether through the creation of wildlife corridors that allow for species migration or the restoration of habitats that support diverse predator-prey interactions, conservation efforts are increasingly informed by an understanding of evolutionary principles. The evolutionary arms race between predators and their prey is a fundamental force driving the diversity and complexity of life on Earth. It is a testament to the power of natural selection in shaping the natural world, illustrating the incredible adaptability and resilience of life. As we move forward, understanding and preserving this delicate balance will be crucial for sustaining the rich tapestry of life on our planet.